Zimmerman formula moisturizes and softens even cracked, thick, and painful skin. Zim's crack cream isn't just an ordinary skin product, so look for it in the first aid section. Look for Zim's new herbal lip formula, the all-natural remedy for treating dry, cracked lips. Available at every major retailer. Brought to you by Zim's Crack Cream. Zim's original formula for nighttime, creamy formula for daytime. Tonight at 8 p.m., brace yourself for storm stories. See the destructive force of a mudslide. Like a freight train coming through my living room. As a father and son run for their lives. No, no, no! A man is blown inside of an F5 tornado. It was just like somebody opened the gates to hell. See how he lives to tell about it. Watch a new series from the Weather Channel. Storm Stories, tonight at 8 Eastern and Pacific. Storm Stories, tonight at 8 on the Weather Channel. And now, here's your local on the 8th. Currently, the temperature is 28 degrees with... Watching the Weather Channel. Live by it. Another round of winter weather has descended upon New York City, and you're under a winter weather advisory. It began as rain early this morning, but now it's changed from freezing rain over to snow. By tonight, may have another three to six inches of fresh snowfall. Just what you wanted to hear, right? Good morning. Welcome to this edition of Weather Center. I'm Kelly Cass. And I'm Mark BNQ. So thanks for joining us. That snow in New York City is coming down pretty steadily now, and it's locally heavy. And it's where we begin this morning. In fact, our winter weather expert, Paul Kosin, joining us now. And Paul, just how strong is this latest system moving across the Northeast? This is a potent little system. It's going to be moving very fast, which will limit snowfall accumulations. But when the snow comes down, it's going to come down very hard, as it is right now between New York and starting in Boston, Massachusetts. Here's our low pressure system right now. It's going to move very, very quickly. And it almost looks like, if you just look at this for a moment, that it's moving out right now. But it's really the back edge here. That's where the significant snow is occurring. And it's right here and called the comma head, that transition area between the high and the low clouds. That's where the rising motion is the greatest, and we're going to see that moving especially across southern New England. So here's our storm system right now. It's moving off the coastline. We can see freezing rain, sleet, and snow for the next few hours in the Philadelphia area. And we've seen a gradient or a difference of snowfall across the New York metropolitan area, only a couple inches maybe in Queens, southern Queens, but up to six inches likely in the Bronx. The heaviest snow going to be just to the north. So we're looking for possibility of six to ten inches of snow in a local band between say extreme southeastern New York, Connecticut, Rhode Island, that includes Providence and Boston, 
uh, Providence and, uh, and Hartford. Look for three to six inches in Boston as well. Here we can see these very heavy bands on the green. That represents all snow there across much of Connecticut. That's going to be continuing through the afternoon. You can still see more snow coming into New York. And especially, look at these bands coming across into uh, southeastern New England. That's going to make for very heavy snow. Snow is coming down in Boston right now. Kelly? Snow has already started in Boston. What do you think about that evening commute, Paul? I think it's going to be really tough. Anybody that's going to be traveling south of Boston from town to the south is going to have a very tough time. Snow is going to be coming down very hard through the evening commute. Then it will be over, but a very cold night following. All right. Thanks very much, Paul Kosin, our winter weather expert. Now here's Mark with more on the Northeast. And into the Northeast we go. Low pressure developing rapidly offshore today. Cold high pressure to the north. That's feeding the low level cold air. That's why we've seen the changeover from rain to freezing rain to snow. And this pink right now is pretty much freezing rain and sleet coming down around Philadelphia where it's been a raw morning. Snow tapers off rapidly this evening across southern New England as the low scoots out to sea. But look at the cold air coming right down through the northeast. Philly flirting with freezing. 23 Pittsburgh, 27 in New York City. So these temperatures just headed down throughout the day today. Tomorrow, much nicer with high pressure overhead. With that flow turning around to the south in the Ohio Valley, milder times for Pittsburgh. I think you'll like it in the upper 40s. Now here's Kelly checking on that rain in the south. And we still have plenty of rain coming down here in the south and still look out for the lightning strikes too. What a stormy night in Atlanta, Georgia, back towards Birmingham, Montgomery, Alabama, all the way up into the Carolinas. Lots of thunder, lots of lightning and heavy rain too. We continue to monitor the threat for severe weather in this area shaded in red from the western panhandle of Florida all the way up into South Carolina. Look how much rain we've seen from these storms moving through very quickly through Georgia, topping our list Gainesville, Georgia picking up nearly three inches. In the wake of the storm, we still have flood warnings going around Forsyth County, and I believe in Polk County, too, keeping our eye on the Big Cedar Creek. Take a look at the lightning strikes. Not quite as active as it was late last night, early this morning, so the thunder not quite as loud, but still some heavy rain found just south of Atlanta, over towards coastal sections of North and South Carolina. From Raleigh to Charlotte, just looks cloudy out there, foggy, but still expect to see redevelopment of showers and storms where we could pick up another half an inch to an inch or more in some locations locations where we see that training effect, showers and storms affecting the same areas over and over again. Nice and warm and dry here in Florida, 79 in Tampa, 85 in Miami. Behind the front, it's chilly. Dallas reporting 37 right now, but rebounding nicely with the sunshine. We should get near 60 degrees. Low 60s for Atlanta over towards Columbia, and we do it again tomorrow morning with the threat of showers and some thunderstorms here in the southeast. Now for more in the Midwest, here's Mark. Okay, a few leftovers here in Chicago this morning. The snowstorm long gone, but as you can see, uh, still a little action off the lake, so that's why we're seeing that very light snow persisting, maybe a, a dusting uh, near the lake shore there. After that, the winds turn around to the south, and some milder times are ahead. Looking at precipitation, you can see it's ended in Ohio, but the damage done, it's very slippery in eastern Ohio this morning. Meanwhile, we'll be looking at a weak low pressure in the northern plains with that little bit of light snow and some gusty winds. Temperatures still very cold, 19 in the Twin Cities, 24 Chicago, 27 St. Louis. A little bit of wind out there, low wind chills, Detroit to Minneapolis. So make sure you put on the layers of clothing. So a cold day in the Midwest with 20s to near freezing temperatures in Chicago, but milder times ahead here in the Missouri Valley where the sun is beginning to break through the low clouds. Tonight and tomorrow, uh, we'll start to see a little push of cool air for North Dakota. Everybody else, though, warming up. Omaha, St. Louis, Kansas City, 50s to near 60. Kelly? Not so warm here in the west, especially in the northwest. That's where we're finding our active weather with winter storm warnings continuing for the Cascades of Washington and Oregon on over to Idaho, Montana. Strong wind blowing out there in Billings, uh, blowing some snow around, blowing at about 30 to 50 miles an hour. High wind warnings remain in effect for this area. Watch for the blowing and drifting of snow. Otherwise, nice weather from Phoenix back towards L.A. with highs in the 60s and 70s. Watch the five, though, in the Pacific Northwest where that rain continues for Seattle and Portland. The higher elevations could be looking at more than a foot of snow. Mark. Well, the snow's been falling this morning in the Big Apple, but will we see more snowflakes this weekend? We'll check that out in your weekend update coming up. In case you didn't know, Aleve is the only leading pain reliever that contains the fast-acting form of the medicine found in prescription naproxen, which means people in tough pain may not have to rely on a prescription for relief when just two Aleve have the strength to stop their pain all day without a prescription. After all, Aleve's not a prescription. It's just the next best thing. Aleve. 
all day strong, all day long. She was in the hospital screaming that she did not want them to hurt her again. I have type 1 diabetes. It was heart-wrenching to hear a three-year-old cry from having her finger poked with the freestyle. She's not afraid to have her sugar checked. And it doesn't hurt. The machine itself is so easy to use that it's been a blessing. We can do all the things that normal people do, and Hannah can be a normal kid. Freestyle. It will change the way you feel about testing. Embarrassing facial hair. There's a wonderful, easy, new way to say goodbye to it. The Hair Off Facial Buffer. You'll gently buffer away hair in seconds. Perfect. The Hair Off Facial Buffer. Refinancing your mortgage is fast and easy with Ditech.com. At Ditech, we refinanced our home at a lower interest rate, and we also took out an equity line of credit to have available for future use, and we were very, very happy. If you're thinking about refinancing your mortgage, call or log on to Ditech.com for today's low fixed rate. I would highly recommend Ditech to others because the process was so quick and easy, and the people... Well, right now, it's almost... Well, it's 11.45, and now we have a big burst of moderate sleet, which is quickly whitening the ground up. You can look, you look on the ground, see the bouncing sleet pellets. And that can be seen, it looks like the freezing rain has finally been eliminated. As a precipitation type. With this burst of precipitation. Now the question is, how long before we can get it to go to snow? But in any case, it is really sleeting now. Moderate sleet. trees in my garden weighted down with the freezing rain, which continued until just a few minutes ago, mixed with the sleet. This burst may actually get us all the way to snow. It's certainly coming down and reducing the visibility. It's quite a burst. could almost call this heavy sleet. Because it's really sleeting. <laughs> and it does seem like it does want to go to snow trying to go to snow, but it's still definitely all sleep. Now the roads are going to get bad. It's a, oh cool, check this out, it's like floating islands of sleep. That's pretty cool, look at that. Ah. It does look like the snow is mixing in now, just starting. Ow. Maybe I can actually film the changeover in progress. That would be cool. See if we can actually go to snow while I'm sitting here watching it. 
with the camcorder. It's trying. It's trying hard. It is definitely trying hard. It wants to change. It wants to go to sleep. The question is, can it? Does it have enough energy to make it all the way? And the answer may be a compromise. It might go halfway, <laughs> like the way it seems to be now, and not quite make it all the way. We'll see. We'll see. Seems like maybe it's lightening up a little bit. Well, it looks like we lost a, a few pure snowflakes that were trying to come down. I guess we couldn't make it all the way. We tried. We tried. We tried. Yes, it's icy. Very carefully. And it's cold now, too. Now get icy, quite icy. Yeah, it doesn't look like it was able to make it over the snow, unfortunately. Not this time. But it did at least eliminate the freezing rain, because it is now all sleet. Ooh. And a bitter sleet it is. All right, unless it goes to snow. I think I'm gonna go inside for now. So, hopefully it'll be able to go to snow in the next hour, because I gotta leave. I have to go to school.
the ice event.